Hey guys and gals, Malkuth1974, back at you with another episode of our Space Engineer Survival Let's Play. How's everybody doing? Can you see me now? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. How do I keep doing these intros? I don't know. I come up with the weirdest intros ever. But today we got a lot to talk about. Things have changed a little bit. A lot, actually. And... We'll start discussing them now. One thing is that I've done a little bit of cosmetic surgery on our new ship, our Corvette here. And the first thing we probably should discuss is that the Corvette has a new name. And let me tell you how I came to this name. Now, nobody actually chose a name for the Corvette. I did choose a name from the selection of names that you guys have put out for the shipyard. We'll cover that a little bit later. Let me go. Let me, let's redo this. All right info all right so i've since we named the last ship from a japanese name i've decided to keep with the tr tradition of japanese names and i have named the corvette the Cayman. now the actual Cayman was an actual frigate for the japanese back when they had their first uh sail you know they're kind of the first sail ships. All right, so now that we got that out of the way. So, you know, I, I do like it. I like the Japanese names. I like them a lot. Um, so we'll probably keep with that for now. So let's go out and take a look at what we have done to the ship. If we look away, you can tell there's not much difference, but we now have this strange thing here. And, well, this is... I know, I know I forgot something on the ship. I needed a docking bay. So I added this kind of quickly, and I added a docking bay to it. There's a ship in there. We'll cover that later. It's a new ship, and we'll talk about one of the first new mods that we have installed. Now, actually, no, let's talk about uh, an old mod that you all suggested. I did install uh, the stone mod to change things into stone into that, but... I'm not using it yet, and I'll tell you why. Uh, I have also installed a mod that allows you to make small ships like you make large ships. That means they have like gravity generators and stuff like that. So let's go check out the new shuttlecraft I made for this ship. Now we gotta put our helmet on in here because this does not have a... So some of the redesign of the ship is on the inside over here. We can now kind of walk over the bay over here these are the doors that open up and to get down there we actually have to kind of climb over this way down here and we get to the new shuttlecraft now the shuttlecraft is and you can enter it you enter it through the back here you have this now I did build this I did design this in creative and use the large shipyard to bring it in and I know one of you has mentioned once that you would like to see me make a ship in uh, creative and we'll cover that I like this ship but it's not quite what I wanted so we will be designing a new this is kind of like the prototype shuttlecraft and I would like to actually shorten it for it's only to about here but anyway let's kind of jump in here we can open the doors just like this. Doors open up, and you can actually walk in it. Now remember, this is a small ship, so this is the small ship mod. You can add, uh, well, mostly everything you can add anyway, but it has like gravity generators and uh, things like that. Uh, what else does it have? It has the small doors like these. These are all, you usually can't have these in vanilla, vanilla uh, space engineer, so. Yeah, so I added that. This is another mod. This adds a, it's called the Azimuth Industries uh, pilot seats. It allows you to have, obviously, a pilot seat where you can sit inside. I have this all set up for uh, looking at my air vents and damage blocks, how much my hydrogen tanks have in it. Uh, gives me my altitude speed, if I'm in natural gravity or not, stop distance, ship mass, uh, my reactors, batteries, all that, all that wonderful wonderful stuff and so that's how it works. It's got two buttons. It is pressurized so you can shut it up and if we wanted to I could push this button 
which will pressurize the whole thing. And now I can take my helmet off. And now the whole we're all pressurized inside. <laughs> That's great. And then we can unpressurize it. Probably not because I have a lot of uh, I have a lot of uh, ice in here. We are over. Let me see if I can get up here. I have a lot of. We are over the ice mining station, so we. I just brought this down and uh, refueled and all that wonderful stuff. So now that we open this up, we're gonna lose a bunch of our oxygen. That's fine. Not much I can do about it. We do want to shut this like that. There we go. And we're all good. So that brings us to the mission today. All right, so I'm only gonna say this once in the video and if uh, anybody asks later in the videos, uh, we're gonna go with it. I am not just gonna blindly add mo mods to the game and uh, to the let's play and decide that uh, oh, we have this technology. We have to earn our new technology. And in today's episode, we have gotten wind that there is a pirate space station. I've actually seen it. I've actually spotted it. It's a little bit away from our shipyard. Now, this is a natural... I did not place this in the world. Um, it was actually there, so... But in the shipyard, we're going to find the plans for that stone... Uh, machines or the 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 basically the the technology to do that for we can actually add it to our technology here we go and one yes yeah I've been having issues with uh, the ship coming unhooked uh, the shuttle and actually kind of destroying the shuttle bay so we'll see if this actually works do not move the ship yeah see like that I think we just got some more damage. Let me just go look real quick. I don't know why it's doing that. If anybody has any uh, any ideas for fixing this issue, it might have destroyed the shuttle. <laughs> Does that sometimes. I don't know if the, uh, the landing gear comes unhinged. And yeah, see what it did to the... Oh my... Oh, jeez. Um, so I'll have to... Oh... <laughs> All right, so I'll have to reload that, and I'll be back, and I'll try to do the jump again. All right, guys, we're back. So I tried like five different times to try to actually jump without causing damage. I don't, I don't know if it's because the I have the landing gear kind of even with the bottom. I don't know. I, it's, it looks like the design is not going to work. So <laughs> I can't jump without destroying, without causing all kinds of damage. So. The last jump, it caused uh, a little bit of damage on the top, took out a couple of ion engines. I just replaced them, rebuilt, rebuilt it, fixed some of the blocks, and I, I just kind of, I just wanted to get on with the, on with the show. So if you look at that uh, asteroid, kind of right d below my ship, you can kind of see it. Uh, the station, the pirate station we're looking for, is beyond that. It's about uh, ten kilometers beyond that I believe so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually kind of head for that and we're gonna go get the information that we need from this pirate station now my recon units that spotted this pirate station say that it is a uh, like a storage area for pirates or at least that's what it's labeled as on its uh, IE it's information banks all right so there's the station there if we take a look at the alt it says what does it say uh, let's actually take a look at it with the camera stockpile station it's 13 kilometers out let's kind of aim I'm actually use I'm actually moving not this but the camera Realign this. Let's get completely lined up on that thing. Get our engines kind of staring at it. There we go. Looks like a pretty well defended station, but I can't quite tell where the guns are. Huh. Might be one of the one of those situations where we want to kind of go over the top of it. Let me kind of set this up. Shut 
If it has guns on the bottom and guns on the top, at least we only have to deal with those guns. All right, so I'm gonna get in range with it. I'm gonna get within one kilometer of it, and we'll see what goes. But hopefully it won't launch anything at us. So I'll be right back. All right, so I'm still having a, a few time, a, a hard time trying to pick out the gun emplacements, but I think I figured out how it's actually set up. So we got a gun emplacement there. We got one there. The regular guns, Gatling guns by the looks of it. There's one there. And there's one there. So, looking at it from this angle, I could do a spread here, here. But what that means, if there's two on this side and there's two on this side that I can't quite pick out yet. So we are not on the right side. So what I'm going to do is we're going to get as close as I can to this. Uh, 800 should be the cutoff point here. I'm going to see how far my guns can reach here. At 810 they will start shooting at me. Uh, okay. Maybe not even 810. That was 820. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure if these will reach. No. What the hell just happened? Oh, for crying out loud, why does that thing keep coming loose? Well, now it's completely destroyed. <sighs> Let me go deal with that. I'll be right back. All right, so I just cut away at the bottom of it. Let's see if we can get out of it. There it goes. Goodbye. Yeah, look, completely destroyed. It was locked. Oh crap, oh crap. Ow. <sighs> yeah. Uh, space engineers, I tell you, causes so much, so much, so many heartbreaks. But let's get back to the mission on hand here. Let's see if I can get these guns destroyed. So I think I gotta aim a little bit up. Did I just hit that thing again? We don't want to completely destroy the base. Proceeds to completely destroy the base. <laughs> I just have to get rid of these guns. Am I out of rockets? I think so. I think they're shooting at... Those other rockets over there, the ones I said I would would be there. All right. Launcher eight is out of ammunition. Okay, that's gone. Let's 
see how close we can get. I don't see any other guns shooting at us. Alright, we are 280. Alright, so let's jump out. What is that? Stockpile. And we need to take out that antenna too. Alright. Let me see what I have for weapons in here. All right. Take out that turret. Turret is taken out. No turret over there. All right. And let's take out this antenna. Ship disabled. Yes. All right. So let me start boarding operations here. No, there's a large cargo container right here. Wow, explosives. Wow, this is like, ooh, a hundred of those. Small cargo container. AU. Conveyor, conveyor. Oxygen. Whoa! Ah! That was close. So, is there another one of these somewhere? Mouse control. Most likely. Alright. I'm like completely lost in here right now. Whoa! Whoa! That's like the reactor. Oh! One man down. Wow. All right. Reactor components. We got a few things in here. Small reactor. Take out their power supply. Hopefully, they'll take out. Not really, will it? 
Nope. Well, this is interesting, guys. We have a computer over here. Access would hack into it. And we're gonna see what we can find. All right, well, I'm gonna copy and paste this information. And remember an exit. And we're gonna take this information to our scientists back at the station. And we'll see what they can come up with there. But in the meantime, I'm gonna continue to grab what I can grab. Alright guys, I have got what I want out of here, and we got one last thing to do before we leave, and that is we got to make sure the pirates don't have a base of this nature near our shipyard. So we're going to blow it sky high. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use explosive. What is that? They haven't called any reinforcements in, which is good. So I have, an, I have a warhead here, and I don't know if anybody knew that. I, I haven't mentioned this before, but I use easy inventory, and it allows you to grab. You don't, you don't have enough girders. Cool, I don't have enough girders. Nice. All right, so let me grab a few of these. I don't know if I had any girders in here or not. Let me look. Oh, metal grids. Yeah. All right. Let me see how many of these I can plant. Plant one there. And I will show you how these work. I don't know if I can make another one or not. Girders. Darn it. I'm going to need a little bit more than that. I could probably make some girders. They're not active right now. So let's make some more over here. That's three we have built. should leave a pretty spectacular explosion, I would think. So I built four. Do we need any more? I got one, two, three, four. That should do it. All right, let's make a control panel with... All right, let's look for warheads. I got four. I'm going to block them up as that. And look at it. Now, if you look at the warheads, they have timers on them. And I have it set. It's set for 10 seconds. we got to set it for 35 seconds. I'm going to kind of count in my head here when it's going to go off. So, arm warheads. Arm warheads. Start countdown. 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 29. 10 seconds now. 10, <laughs> 9, 8, 7, six. Oh, there it goes. I was a little bit off. Well, that wasn't too spectacular. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh nothing left of it nice all right well take that pirate you take that you pirates so there you go guys this is malkuth 1974 thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on the flip side malkuth 
out of here.